It's coming up to the sixth anniversary of Golden FM. Can't quite believe I've been making YouTube videos for that long. I initially made Golden FM on Twitter at the end of May 2012 before creating this YouTube channel a couple of months later. And I've been reminiscing about Football Manager, about sort of my saves before Golden FM. FM11 and FM12 really did inspire me to create Golden FM, uh, particularly FM12. FM11 got me hooked again. I didn't buy FM09 or FM10. I played Football Manager 2008 to death, and I will be doing a series on FM08 at some point very soon. But first year of university, FM11 was released, and I just had to buy it. I just I hadn't bought a game for a couple of years. I had a bit of money and I bought Football Manager 2011, had some fabulous saves. I've already done a video on FM11 a couple of years ago with my famous Chelmsford City save. That was just an inspirational story. But FM12 was the one that really took me to the next level and convinced me to create Golden FM on Twitter and then create a YouTube channel. And if it wasn't for FM12, I wouldn't be here right now creating Football Manager content on YouTube. And there's one save in particular that I'm really proud of. And I have tweeted about a couple players from this save in the past, but my West Ham save, it's the team I support, West Ham United, on FM12 was just, I loved it. Even though it had its ups and downs, it's not my best ever West Ham save. Nowhere near my best ever West Ham save on Football Manager. But I did win the league, as you can see here, in the 2019-20 season with 104 points. I reached 100 points long before Pep Guardiola. <laughs> And it was an unbeaten season as well, as you can see there. So I thought today's video, I would just show you, just ramble a bit about this save, really. Uh, I just, I loved the squad that I had. I loved the players that I had. I was also manager of England, and I'll go into a bit more detail about it in a bit. But I just want to show you the journey of this West Ham save. It was, it really did have its ups and downs, because in the first season... Uh, it, we started in the championship because in real life West Ham were relegated the year before in the 2009-10 season. Is that right? I think so. So the 2010-11 season, which is the start of this... No, 2011-12. I'm getting confused here. Yes, 2010-11 season West Ham were relegated. So the first save on this game was 2011-2012. It's so long ago, but at the same time, it doesn't seem that long ago. Thinking about university... I've, I finished university five years ago. Time is so strange. It feels it feels like a long time ago, but it also feels like yesterday. Do you ever get that feeling of time? It really is bizarre. I'm getting a bit philosophical here, but yeah. Oh my. It's it's flown by, but at the same time, it seems a long time ago. And I, I, that, yeah, time is strange to summarise there. But if I just show you my first season in the championship with West Ham, we, we did go up as champions with 88 points, just ahead of Leicester City and goal difference. By the way, some of the leagues, it's so different. Watford relegated from the championship. Doncaster Rovers were in the championship this season. Southampton and Portsmouth in the championship together. It really, really is quite bizarre. Uh, Peterborough almost promoted as well. They got into the playoffs with Burnley winning the playoffs. Uh, but on, on to the next season, and it wasn't actually a successful season for me. My first season back in the top flight, I was relegated. It was very close. But I didn't get sacked because the board had said, we expect you to fight against relegation. And it was so close. It wasn't a very successful season, as you can see. I kind of wish I had some save files as, so I could show you as, as I, as the journey as I went along. I've got some screenshots, which I might put on Twitter at some point. I've only got this save file, unfortunately. But I'm so happy I found this because it's literally... I've been searching for this save file for years. And I found it on an old external hard drive, which I thought I had searched for before. Because I really wanted to find screenshots of my two favourite regens from this save. And I've got old screenshots which I've posted on Twitter quite a few times. This centre-back, which I'll show you in a second. He's probably my favourite ever regen. Apart from the legendary Jack Young from Regen Rovers, of course. But yeah, we were relegated down to the Championship. But the season after that, it was a very convincing season from us. 110 points going up as champions, only losing two games. 104 goals scored. Mark Noble was actually play of the season. He had a really good season in the 2013-14 season. So back in the top flight, and we did survive, and we survived easily. We, we, we finished eighth with 59 points. Look at Wolves and Blackburn flying high, but Liverpool champions, which is quite rare to see. And then the season after that, eighth again, actually one point less, 58 points. 
Uh, I'll show you what else we've won. I think we've won a few cup competitions. In fact, we won a cup whilst in the championship, which I'll have to show you in a second. Um, but the season after that, we did finish sixth. This is when we started to progress a little bit. 63 points. We qualified for Europe. 2017-18 season, the season that's just happened in real life, <laughs> it's a massive contrast. West Ham finishing fourth in the Champions League places. So despite being relegated and coming back into the Champions I, Premier League, I, it kind of allowed me to get rid of all the crap. And I was able to just really focus on youth and bring through some very good young players, which I will show you in a second. Season after that, we finished second before champions in the 2019-20 season. I left this save at this point. We were top of the Premier League going into the 2020-21 season after 10 games. And that's where I stopped. I just stopped playing. You know when you sort of fall out of love with a save? Well, I think I just started playing something else. I think I started managing Swansea. Because Golden FM originally was myself and my friend Tom. And Golden came from our last names. It's a bit sad I know and we had our, like our own private Facebook group football manager friends and uh, we just posted screenshots and stuff of football manager and then it led and then I thought I'm going to create a Twitter account and try and share this with lots of people and it worked and then I created YouTube uh, but I will I think I'll go into a bit more detail about the, the Golden FM timeline on the sixth anniversary of Golden FM I think I'll do, do a video about that and like I said I did become manager of England but if I just show you what we managed to win with West Ham, it's so different. I'm trying to navigate my way around, but it's really hard to remember. Uh, but I've actually won the Champions League twice, which is more than I won the Premier League. And also managed to win the FA Cup three times, because in real life West Ham won it, won it three times. Uh, so I managed to win an additional three FA Cups and the League Cup three times as well. In fact, let's go and have a look. How do I find it? How do I search... Oh, this is so different. Maybe I'll do a save on Football Manager 2012 one day. But I am going to do an FM08 save because I have said I would. Uh, but if we look at the history, where can I look at the winners? Is there an easy way to look at... Ah, history, past winners. There we go. So I won three FA Cup finals in a row. Firstly against Reading, then Chelsea, and then most recently against Spurs. In fact, I want to look at that final. We won 3-2. Ah, yes. Yes, my two legendary striker regens who were absolutely insane. I will show you in a second. I keep teasing you, but I'm going to show you these regens. I'll go down the, the team in a bit. And this is the, the League Cup. So let's have a look at the final uh, of last season. We beat Aston Villa 2-1. Uh, yes, Paul Hoosman once again with lots of goals. But the, the, I, I managed to win the League Cup back in 2014 against Liverpool, I think think that was when we were in the championship which is an incredible achievement and we also beat Chelsea in 2018 and then we beat Aston Villa most recently but anyway the two regens I really want to show you from this save I hope you're finding this interesting it might be a bit dull for some people but I know a lot of people like my rambly videos where I show you sort of past saves I've done it previously and it's been good feedback but this is my favorite ever center back on football manager Darren Holt Look at his physicals. They've actually declined slightly. He used to have like 18 and 19 on pace. But other things have improved with, uh, with his speed going down a little bit. But that is just absolutely out of this world. He had 19 on heading. He scored so many goals. Because on FM12 from corners, you could just score so many goals. I think I managed Stoke City and my two top goal scorers are my centre-backs. Uh, which is probably what could happen in real life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, look at this. I signed him from Manchester United for £5 million. He came through the Man United youth system, but he fell out with Alex Ferguson. And I don't know why, because I've never had any con I had ne never had any controversial problems with him when he did sign for me. So Alex Ferguson just fell out with him for whatever reason. So I got him for a bargain price because uh, he was a wonder kid. And he went on to, to captain, uh, captain, maybe not captain England, but he went on to get lots of caps for England, who I managed. But he got into the England squad before I became the manager. He's just such... I just love him so much. What a player he is. Um, also, he can play like other positions. I always played him centre-back, but he could actually play attacking midfield, which is pretty incredible as well. And his favourite personnel is Sir Alex Ferguson, even though he fell out with him, which is a bit weird. I'm on there as well, but yeah, he's my favourite ever centre-back regen. The other player 
I want to show you Alan Patterson, a left back who I did bring through the West Ham youth system, went on loan once to Crawley, but he got into the team very early on in that championship season. That Yeah, I did win the League Cup whilst in the championship, actually. That's confirmed that 2013 14 season. He's, I love this guy. He's so good at crosses and set pieces. He scored free kicks. He whipped so many corners in for Holt to head into the back of the net. He's also relatively fast. I just, oh, I absolutely adored this left back as well. And he got into the England team at an early age and already got 50 caps at the age of 25. Just shows how good he is. And then a striker that I absolutely adored on this save as well is, is Paul Hoosman, uh, a Dutch speed demon he used to be slightly faster actually when he was 23 24 he was so fast but he just scored so many goals for me i signed him for 15 million pounds from wolves which i thought was a lot of money at the time because of wolves getting such a big profit on him but it was a bargain because he got 31 goals in the first season next in the last season 53 goals in 48 starts and five sub appearances 53 goals in 53 games <laughs> what a player what a player I haven't showed you the Champions League actually have I I need to show you that um, and the other striker which I signed recently you'll notice I've got some names that you will know like Christig who was insane back on FM12 Messer Ozil who's now 30 years, uh, 32 years old I signed him and Malonga you might remember him he was a really good striker back in the day on the game Lindegaard James Tompkins is still here Perisic I signed him before it was cool to sign him he was Great play, 31 on this game now. Of course, we're in the future, even compared to real life. Oh, oh yeah, Lucas Anderson. What a player he was. Wonder kid on the game on FM12, maybe FM11 as well. But he was really good. But this is the other region I really like. A German 21-year-old. He's already in the, the German team, by the way. Look at how fast he is. 20 on acceleration, 19 on pace. My tactics were built around just utilising pace, to be honest. And he was fantastic in his first season for me as well. 39 goals. So my strike partnership of Hoosman and Corb, ridiculous. <laughs> really, really ridiculous. £31 million as well. I think it was probably our record signing. Oh, another player I really like, Jordan Spence. He was really good, I think, on FM11 primarily, but he was also very good on FM12. Turned into an exceptional defender. You could play him right back, left back or centre back. And I, I brought him into the England team. I think I made him captain even because of his influence. He was captain for pretty much every England youth level up until the under-21s. And then he, it just didn't quite work out for him. I think James Tompkins played ahead of him at West Ham. And it just stopped Jordan Spence from getting into that first team, unfortunately. Because I really liked Jordan Spence when I was younger. I wanted him to go on to big things because I knew how good he was in football manager. It just didn't quite work out for him. But yeah, I became England manager a couple years ago. I did actually win the World Cup with England. Oh, I want to show you the Champions League first. Yeah, Champions League wise, I've won two in a row, both of the finals against Man City as well. 2-0 against Man City in the most recent final, Corb and Wellington Paulista, another region, Brazilian region, really good player uh, with the goals. The Man City squad, probably quite different. Yeah, they've still got Joe Hart, who basically became one of the best goalkeepers on the game. <laughs> They've got Willian, playing Willian up front. So he's, he would be, uh, Gareth Bale, so Gareth Bale. Oh yeah, they obviously had so much money at this point. They still do, of course, in real life, but you know, they were signing everyone at this point. So yeah, very good team. So for me to actually beat them, to the league title and in the Champions League final was quite impressive. Season before, I only beat them 1-0 thanks to a goal from Eduardo Salvio, another player I really liked, actually. Really quality player. Patterson actually got sent off, but we managed to, to hold on and win that final as well. Going back to England then. So this is the current England team. Look how different it is. Obviously, this is two years in the future, but I'll show you the World Cup final that I managed to win. And uh, I also won the Euros, by the way. I beat Belgium 1-0 in the European Championship final in 2020, thanks to a goal from Theo Walcott. If we go back to 2018, really good, really good year from me, but I did win the World Cup. We drew our first game against Cameroon, uh, beat South Korea 4-0, beat Holland 3-0, beat Italy 3-1 in the second round, Mexico 1-0 in the quarters finals, scraped past Croatia in the semi-finals before beating, beating one nil, uh, Spain 1-0 in the final. And it was a dominant performance from us, which oh, I can't click on it. I do have a screenshot though, which I'll show at this point in the video. Uh, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, who was just called Alex Chamberlain on the game, actually got the winning goal. And the team is really different to the real-life 2018 squad. But the team's changed quite a bit since then as well. Alex Smithies, remember him? 
was a really good go-to goalkeeper if you if you wanted a decent goalkeeper for a, a decent price. Raheem Sterling's in the team, um, actually playing for Chelsea on this. I don't think he developed quite as as well. He was like 16 on FM12, I think. I just turned 16, possibly. So they got that right that he turned into an England international. Perhaps not as good as as real life. But Wayne Rooney, 171 caps, 98 goals. Little bit different to real life. Obviously, he's a legend of the game in real life. But at the age of 35, he's still a very good striker on this in 2020. So, yeah, he's managed to prolong his career a bit longer on this. Ben Amos in goal. He got into the England team. I'm obviously the manager, so I chose him. Chris Smalling was in the England team, 82 caps. Ryan Shawcross as well involved 66 caps. He was much better on the game. He's, he's a good defender in real life, but he turned into a quality England international, as you can see there. Theo Walcott still playing at Arsenal at the age of 30, 103 caps for England. So, yeah, Danny Welbeck as well. So they've got, I mean, there's players that are still in the England team in real life, but I think these guys on the on the FM12, ended up being better the players than they did in real life the the biggest of all actually is Jack Wilshire who of course is injured <laughs> but he's turned into one of the best central midfielders on the game at the age of 28 100 caps 15 goals but he did actually finish second in the golden in, in the Ballon d'Or award wherever that is somewhere ah oh, here here we go well done yeah well golden ball Second place ahead of Messi. Messi dominated as he, as he usually did back then. But Darren Holt actually managed to win third place at the Ballon d'Or. It just shows how good a defender he was or he is on this save. So that's it, basically. That's, this is the inspiration for my YouTube channel. One, I mean, it's there was a lot that inspired Golden FM. But this was kind of the save that really pushed me to the next level and made me think about perhaps sharing my achievements with other people. Originally, I just shared it with my friend Tom. I shared loads of screenshots with him. But then I thought, I can share this on Twitter, share it on social media. And that's what I did. And it just it spiraled from there. But I'll go into more detail about that in another video. Uh, but thanks for watching this uh, this video, this rather rambly video, me just talking. Just, I mean, it doesn't really mean much to you, I know. But I just wanted, to, I just felt like making a video on this because I've been looking for this save for quite a few years because I did want to share it with you. But I just couldn't find it. It was really irritating that I couldn't find it, but I finally have. Anyway, thank you for watching this Football Manager 2012 video. If you would like to, to know more, if you'd like me to, to look at some of my other FM12 saves, let me know. But until next time, enjoy FM18. Enjoy whatever Football Manager you play, whether it be FM12, FM13, FM05, Championship Manager 19900. Have fun playing Football Management games. I'll see you very soon.